Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. A while back, I demoed the RP LiDAR A3M1 360-degree LiDAR scanning unit. It's a great little unit, but like all good tech companies, Slamtech thought they could do better. Well, it looks like they have. Slamtech has just released a new unit with some improved features. Introducing the Slamtech RP LiDAR S1. The S1 adopts time-of-flight ranging technology, so ranging resolution will not change with distance. It has 360-degree sensing capability, with a range of 40 meters on white objects and 10 meters on black objects with a distance resolution of 3 centimeters. The typical scanning frequency of the RP LiDAR S1 is 10 Hz at 600 RPM, and the frequency can be freely adjusted within the 8 to 15 Hz range according to the specific requirements. With the 10 Hz scanning frequency, the sampling rate is 9.2 kHz, and the angular resolution is 0.391 degrees. And here's a big upgrade from the previous version. The sensor and internal mechanisms are housed in a plastic enclosure, making it a much more viable solution for field use. All of this on a 55.5 by 55.5 mm footprint. And it's completely compatible with all existing Slamtech software and hardware interfaces, generating the same 2D point cloud data that can be used for modeling, ranging, or mapping. Compared with RP LiDARs in the other series, the RP LiDAR S1 has a more stable performance when detecting objects in long distance, objects in white or black alternatively, and objects under direct sunlight, which is ideal for map building in the outdoor environment within a 40 meter ranging radius. If you recall, I demoed the last RP LiDAR unit by attaching it to a small yellow helmet on top of my head and walking around Sparkland headquarters under instrument flight rules, more or less. Well, I no longer have that little yellow helmet, and it seemed like, really, I should step up my demo for this new stepped-up LiDAR unit. Let's go. Once again, I'll be flying instrument only. Uh, there may be a few low-lying objects that might pass under the LiDAR, but that's a chance I'm willing to take. Here we go. Get it over my ponytail. All right. Got a good look at the screen. Here we go. Not so bad. I mean, I'm going straight. It's not that tough. Looks like I might be drifting a little bit. It also looks like my LiDAR might be slightly offset to the left. That was engineering, those two openings we just passed. We should be coming up on a pretty big opening right here to my right. Yeah, okay, so this is our big open space. I know there's some desks in here that so far I'm not seeing. Whoop, I see something right there in front of me. Let's see. Pass it over here. Nope. I can see one object. I can't tell what it is. Uh-oh. Looks like it was a desk. Going some more. Let's see. Heading towards the back wall. There's a large object to my left. I'll slow down should probably turn here. Ooh, just made it. All right. Let's see. Some stuff over here to the left. I mean the right. My other left. Not exactly sure where I am now. I think I'm in... Okay. Narrow passageway. Ooh, that looks close on that side. What have we got here? Something over there. Uh-oh. I must have hit something under my LiDAR. Backing up. Had a little argument with a low-lying refrigerator. Let's see. There's... I've got something there. Small wall. Maybe a piece of furniture. Uh, pushing some more objects out of the way. Uh, am I dragging something? Okay, let's see. I know there's a little jog coming up here. Uh oh, drifting that way. Is it right there? It should be right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Lots of open space here. He says enthusiastically, although I know there are some smaller objects I might hit. Let's see. That was probably the printer on my left. Let's see. 
I should be driving towards the speedometer. I wonder if it sees me. Oh, is that me? No, that's not me. That's me. Okay. I see something right to my left. I wonder what that is. Probably the couch. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's the stuff. Taking it home. That should be my desk over to my right. Again, you can see that the ladder unit is sitting slightly a kilter on top here. Next time I'll probably tripod mount it, but that's future Rob's problem. Oh, it's way off now. I need to probably adjust this slightly. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the way it should be. There we go. Okay, let's see. I should be making a turn right about here. Not quite here, but right about here. Oh, that's the stuff. There we go. Bring it home. And this should be home. Whew. Hey, how you doing, Nate? <laughs> so there it is. Initial setup is simple and straightforward, and the SDK allows for a much broader range of uses. So add a little LiDAR vision to your next project with the RP LiDAR S1. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. I demoed the RP LiDAR A3M1 scanning 360, 360 degree scanning LiDAR unit. A while back, I demoed the, demoed? <laughs> degree LiDAR scanning, scanning LiDAR unit. So there it is. Sure is. Yep, so there it is. Initial sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Ow. <laughs> Broader range of implementations. <laughs> so there it is. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, I'm full of fudge. <laughs>